Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to talk about the Xperia 10 Mark 3 and this is not the Mark 3 this is the Mark 2 but why I probably won't get the 10 Mark 3 so let's get started so let's talk about the Xperia 10 Mark 3 and compare it with the 10 Mark 2 what has been changed first of all the hardware and I want to talk a little bit about the processor. They upgraded the processor and this is very very necessary because in the 10 Mark II it was a bit stuttering here and there and this was because of the processor being a little bit too weak and especially the GPU being too weak for the animations in modern Android. But also for the camera system the processor is really really important because the processor has an ISP image signaling processing algorithms inside that help with processing images and the 690 5G processor has enough power to also deliver full-on HDR effects without any issues. This is why on the 10 Mark III you will definitely get better HDR photo even though the 10 Mark II and the 10 Mark III have not only similar but also the same sensors. The only thing that changed are the glasses in front of them. So the main sensor is now one millimeter narrower, 27 instead of 26 millimeters. And the Tele one also grew from 52 to 54 millimeters. The F number, the aperture on the main sensor went down from 2.0, F2.0 to F1.8, which also lets in more light and should result in better photos. But in general, the major upgrade is of course the software as well in conjunction with the new snapdragon processor this will result in way better photos than on the xperia 10 mark ii especially when it comes to hdr when it comes to nighttime not so much of course you can do a little bit more processing you have more processing power to do on the xperia 10 mark iii instead of the 10 mark ii which allows you to have some better nighttime shots but this is not so uh, impacting so what you will have is like the limits of the sensors are a bit too big so you still have like a subpar night time especially when i compare it to other devices but let's talk a little bit more about what has changed uh, as well in terms of performance which will get you more performance is also the six gigabytes of ram so two gigabytes two gigabytes more than the xperia 10 mark ii uh, which is also good and pretty nice especially for an android system where you have lots and lots of applications running and i think this will also boost the overall performance and the possibility to run multitasking applications on the device on android i of course have here on my xperia 10 mark ii uh, safer has running which is also pretty fluid and fast uh, with four gigabytes of ram which is enough for this operating system but if you want to run android on your xperia 10 mark iii which will be the default anyway then it makes sense to have a little bit more uh, RAM. What else has changed? So they made slight little different updates. When it comes to the form factor, however, nothing changed. It's basically the same form factor, one millimeter less in height, but a bit wider, I think it is. So basically the same form factor, a six inch display, OLED Full HD plus without any issues, 21 by nine, of course. Uh, I hope they changed the OLED a bit, improved it a bit, because under 20% brightness this OLED might have uh, had color shifting issues, so I hope the new one will not have this issue. Then what did they change as well? They bumped up the USB Type-C port on the bottom, and I think it is also in conjunction again with the new processor. They bumped it up to USB 3.1, so which is pretty cool if you want to export stuff, if you want to copy over stuff via the USB port, you can do this now a lot quicker than on the Xperia 10 Mark II. And of course what they also did is like video out. I'm not sure if the Xperia 10 Mark II has video out. I don't think it has. Last time I remember testing it there was no video out. The new Xperia 10 Mark III will have video out. But, and this is one of the biggest bummer I would say, it will not have the new camera app, the photo Pro basic mode will not be on the Xperia 10 Mark III. It will use the same software as the Xperia 10 Mark II with slight optimizations according to of course auto HDR as well especially because the new Snapdragon processor can handle this pretty nicely so you will see a bump up in auto HDR definitely and maybe also face tracking 
but that is basically everything. So it will be a camera update in this sense that not the sensors got updated, the hardware got updated, but the software got cleverer and we have a new better processor. And it shows also what would happen if Sony would have released the Xperia 10 Mark II with a Snapdragon 700 series processor last year. It would be so much better in processing photos and uh, yeah you see the potential of Xperia 10 Mark II with a better processor because I don't think that the software updates are so much like Sony camera software updates so I don't think the Xperia 10 Mark II will get the same update in terms of auto HDR maybe there will be auto HDR with an update Sony but uh, I doubt it because it's mainly processor and ISP driven which is simply sitting in the processor and you have to replace the processor of the 10 Mark II for this and therefore get the 10 Mark III. And uh, what else has changed? The battery. So it got a bit heavier of course because the uh, battery got bigger. So I think it's 20 grams heavier. So 500... Uh, I don't know. Ich, uh, I, I really don't know. But what has changed is the battery size from 3800 milliampere hours with the Snapdragon 665 on the Xperia 10 Mark II, which is pretty nice in terms of battery life, to 4500 milliampere hours with the new 8 nanometer Snapdragon 690 5G processor, which if you don't use 5G will probably hold you two, three days maybe. I was pretty uh, yeah, surprised by the good battery life on the Xperia 10 Mark II regarding uh, the, the or looking at the 3800 milliampere hours only but with the newer one having also only 60 hertz display and the new processor and 4500 milliampere hours if you don't use 5g you probably can beat this one uh, very easily so it is a long time long runner uh, what else can i tell you um, we have also still the same headphone jack with the same capabilities uh, LDAC support for LDAC I think is uh, Bluetooth yeah uh, and all the hi-fi support stuff that you can get and uh, yeah Bluetooth support aptX HD and uh, also LDAC support as well as uh, DSEE HX I think it's called the Sony algorithm that help us uh, yeah, improving compressed audio and uh, all these uh, little things I really disappointed a little bit about the software uh, not having the new basic mode of the camera for the photo pro app um, maybe sony will just have it exclusively for the wants to have it exclusively only for the flagships but it would be no pain to just put it in here in the mid ranges as well anyway is it a big upgrade it's a big upgrade in terms of price 380 i think euro it was and 430 420 euros 430 euros i think it's right now for the xperia 10 mark 3 and if you ask me should i buy the 10 mark 2 or the 10 mark 3 i would say buy the 10 mark 3 because it's a better device but keep in mind that and i think really to be honest it's a better sony device but if you have a 300 price region in, in, in mind then take a look maybe at this here which is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro if you don't have problems with Chinese devices this one has a 108 megapixel super duper super big camera sensor I think it is slightly bigger than the Sony one that I'm using here right now for recording this on the Xperia 5 Mark II has also an 8 megapixel ultra wide which is roughly the same as the uh, Sony Xperia 10 Mark III's but it lacks tele zoom and telezoom is one of the flexibility options that you get on the 10 mark III um, but you get the better processor the snapdragon 735 i think it is here it's only 4g but faster than a 690 and you get 120 hertz display here oled as well so uh, if you would ask me honestly 430 euros i would rather get this here and a bunch of extras maybe like a micro sd card uh, uh, if you want to upgrade this uh, internal um, space a little bit uh, maybe a case around it or something like this rather than the Xperia I have to say but uh, yeah this is also the reason no but here but it is the reason why I will not get the Xperia 10 Mark III 
because I don't see it as an upgrade like a version upgrade 2.0 to 3.0. I see it more as an upgrade 2.0 to 2.5. So it's a one year upgrade. I expect it a little bit more. Maybe the Xperia 1 sensors on the Xperia uh, 10 Mark III would be a nice upgrade as well. In general, I'm a bit disappointed about this, that they didn't upgrade to the camera sensors. They updated the software here and there, there a bit, mainly but because of the software, uh, because of the GPU and the, and the CPU, they get all those benefits out of that. Uh, that's basically everything. So, I'm a bit disappointed uh, regarding the 10 Mark III. It is a good phone, nevertheless, but it's a bit too expensive in my opinion, and I think that for the Xperia 10 Mark II owners, it's not a worthy upgrade yet. Uh, I hope to see some software improvements on the 10 Mark II as well for people who bought it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I probably will not get it because I have to buy it my own. Other, Sony, if you're listening and want to send me one for reviewing, then I'm gladly accepting that. Uh, but if you really, 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 really want that I test out the Xperia 10 Mark III in terms of camera, in terms of performance and test it also in comparison to the uh, 10 Mark II, not like in this dry spec comparison, but also like one-on-one, uh, -on -one, uh, then you can donate. I just calculate it. Yeah, I have enough viewers, I have enough uh, subscribers. If every one of you sends me two euros, then I will be able to buy the Xperia 10 Mark III without any issues and I will be able to do a review without any issues. So if you want to donate for the Xperia 10 Mark III, uh, just go down here in the links in the comments, uh, not in the comments, in the description, there's a link for donating for the Xperia 10 Mark III and every donation via this link will be taken into account. Just write maybe in the comments, it's for the Xperia 10 Mark III and then I will put it aside and uh, will collect it for the Xperia 10 Mark III. That is everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching until the next time. Bye.